Morning guys, I do. It's uh, Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training and uh, it's quite early in the morning today. Um, back out of the gym nice and early before work. <clears throat> anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about something I sort of think about quite a bit where what keeps people motivated, what keeps me motivated and it's like, you know, I guess if you could bottle that stuff you'd be, uh, you'd be a millionaire but my little take on it is going to be around about, um, you know, logic will never cut it for motivation. Um, it's more about, about your emotions and, and um, emotional reasons. Because at the end of the day, okay, we all know we should do something. We all know we should exercise. We all know we should eat better. We all know we shouldn't drink so much and smoke and all that sort of thing. And that's all logical reasons. <clears throat> but those logical reasons aren't enough to, uh, to make you do anything. To, to, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't feel like doing something, you won't do it. It's as simple as that. Um, and <clears throat> sorry, a bit, of a bit of a cough and a cold. And um, with anything, you know, if you don't, if your mood, if you're not in the mood to do something, you won't do it. It's as simple as that. Um, and if you want to achieve something, whether it's going to be health or fitness, um, or even in business or anything you want to do, if you if you've got a, a real emotional driver, then you're more inclined to do it. So you know, even think back for um, anything you've achieved ever. Um, you may not have wanted to do that, but you've done it because there's something driving you forward. There's um, an emotional reason whether you needed to get a job for money, to eat, or whatever it is. Um, or it's because you've had a, um, a health scare and um, although before you knew you should do something, the health scare has given you an emotional kick up the bum and you've gone and done something. And that's what you really need to think of, okay? So when, you know, motivation essentially is a bit of a lie. So when you see all these people going, you know, all these motivational memes and stuff, they're brilliant and they, they, they're going to probably get you off your, off your backside to start initially. But to keep you going for the years and months and months and months, you need something else there. You need an emotional driver, emotional reason. Um, and for me, like I've probably spoken about before, it was like I've always been overweight and... I remember waking up one morning and going, oh, that's enough, that is enough, you know, enough's enough for me. A line was drawn in the sand and I needed to make a change. It, was, it wasn't, it wasn't um, you know, I know logically I needed to do something before that, but it was the emotional, I need to do something right now. And it was, it was just because it was coming up the summer, I was new in New Zealand and I didn't like my body. I, I didn't like, you know, taking my top off in public, you know, overweight, flabby, all those things. I didn't like it. And I needed to make a change right now, and now that, that was it. And I, I think I started training on a Thursday, something random. Like that. It wasn't even like I didn't even wait till Monday. It was like a Thursday, right? Today is it. And that once you've got that, that's just going to power you forward through and through. Um, and you know, it's that emotional reason. It's going to be different for everyone. Um, you know, we've I, I spoke about uh, clients on here before. Um, has done really well and they were like, you know, to do with anxiety attacks it, and it could be it, lots, lots of reasons to do it. Um, and I had a really cool, uh, cool chat with one of my, one of our clients from a growing younger team um, a couple of days ago. Like he's now able to, um, land, he was able to landscape his garden um, because he's now fitter. Um, so for him to keep on moving forward, so the motivation was to get started because he knew logically he needed to do something. But now he's done it. He's now got a real emotional reason. He's got somebody he can attach that to. He's able to do things now he couldn't do before. And that's quite emotional and that's quite, uh, you know, um, a good motivator in itself because he said to me, I don't want to go back to how I was. And that is the trigger. That's the sort of thing that you want. And that for him now, hopefully anyway, he's going to pin his, um, his emotional reason to keep on going past... The, uh, the initial motivation stage to keep on going and do better and keep on going, right? So, you know, it's an emotional reason, if, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, on the flip side of that, when you, if you, um, without those emotional feelings as well, what you're going to find on certain days and things like that, you're not going to feel like doing something. And you're not going to feel like doing those things because of an emotion, whether you can't be bothered, you're tired, you've had a bad day, and, you know, you're upset or whatever it is, or someone, you know, pissed you off or whatever. Um, and those, those then emotions can do the opposite. They can stop you from doing something. And that's when you got to think about the logic side of it. And you got to think, well, just because I'm in a bad mood right now, my original emotional reason isn't going to go away. And I need, I still need to get 
to you know B or C or D and that is when the logic kicks in and that's when you think about the original emotional reason and hopefully that's going to take you through the initial bump in the road the initial whatever it is that's going to try and stop you from doing it and it's really difficult guys all right but end of the day if you got if your original reason if your original emotional reason is strong enough motivation doesn't really factor into it anymore it's just now becomes something that drives you forward um and that's probably where i'm at now I've, as i said it's been six or seven years i've never regained the weight the 20 kilos that i, that I lost originally and it's because of that original driving force and it's as strong now as it ever has been and you know I'd never ever want to go back to where I was before. Um, you know, I, I couldn't do half the things I can do now, um, and you know, I'm I'm, t I'm a lot happier for it. So that's pretty much what I want to talk to you about today. Is that um, you know your logic is not going to cut it. Logical reasons aren't going to cut it. You need to find something um, something really emotional to keep you driving forward and, and and to keep you moving forward for the long term. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? So anyway, that's enough for me. I'm going to uh, finish procrastinating and get myself in, into the gym now. But uh, like I said, guys, you've got to start afresh, okay? Uh, if you don't start afresh today, you know, tomorrow will never be any different. Cheers.